this is just a little update on my aspiration challenge. I'm currently on the second generation. Um, so we met Juliet when she was a teenager in the uh, first update that I posted. Um, so Juliet Perard. She's actually married now, but I haven't changed her last name. I keep forgetting. Um, but this is where she lives. Um, she moved to Windenburg um, when she became a young adult and I actually have kind of forgotten how much I like Windenburg and I have actually never lived in like the central part of Windenburg. Usually I live like on the outside of it um, but lately I've been trying to live in different places with my sims that I have not necessarily explored before and so that's where she is. Uh, right across like there's a statue here, there's a fountain right over here uh, with like a cafe and this like chess thing here and they're just right in front of it. There's a clock here and uh, this is their house and they're kind of right in front of all of the action. Um, it's actually Easter today in the game so I'm kind of trying to do a bit of a house tour here. So Juliet's traits were um, music lover, neat, and squeamish. So she likes to keep a very uh, clean house. Oh my god, this is so slow. She likes to keep a very clean house. Um, as you can see, we've got the Easter Bunny here, or the Flower Bunny. Um, I have a fear in real life of mascots and people like dressed in costumes like this, so it freaks me out. Um, I was playing with Juliet and it showed up in her queue that it said like something like coming to visit and I panicked like I the thought of him like coming for her like <laughs> I know that sounds so silly but I was freaking out about that because it scared me really badly and I actually don't want him in my house like I need him to leave it's just like right now turning my back on him to show the house is making me like nervous it's how weird is that fear? Anyway, um, so this is the house. Uh, bathroom door is open. All the doors are open in my game right now, and it's really annoying. But that's the front entrance. Her her parents saved up. Uh, how much did they save up for her? Fifty thousand dollars, I think, or fifty one thousand um, dollars, is how much they saved. So she got this house. Um, she just moved in by herself, and she met her husband kind of later on. I'm um, just doing a bit of a house tour because I actually really like the way that I've kind of furnished this house. They do need a better TV, but they don't watch a lot of TV. Um, she's really into music, so she's got her piano here, which she got from her um, a promotion. It's like a um, career reward type thing. And then her violin because she plays a lot of violin. And over here they have like a computer area. And um, that black gem there is the one... Uh, not the one, but I mean she found it uh, back when she, oh those books are hovering, I never noticed that. Um, she found that back when she was living at home with her parents and the lightning struck and left behind a gem. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, just going through here to the dining room. Um, yeah, so it's Easter so I've kind of got some decorations around, um, like some little cards. Over here we have like a breakfast bar in her kitchen. And uh, here she is making a ham dinner because uh, I think it's closer to the evening now. And then the Easter Bunny actually gave her this, which was really nice, I have to say. I was I was pleased about that, but oh my god, does he freak me out. I have to go by him to get up the stairs. Oh, I'm scared. Hold on, I gotta... Okay, okay, oh god. Okay, so, uh, top of the stairs. There's no laundry room. I really wish there was. Uh, I'm gonna probably make one somewhere. Another open door. I kind of don't mind the open doors, like like actual doors but when it's a fridge door or like a washing machine door it really bothers me. Uh, so this is her room, well her and her husband. Um, her husband's name is something. What is his name? Brock. Brock Bassett is his name and they met at a cafe I think. Um, she was actually on a date with someone else who was being really rude to her. His name is Oscar Park. Um, they were, went to school together. And she was on a date with Oscar Park, and he was, like, not receiving her, um, this is the bathroom. I'm just doing a little house tour while I tell the story. Um, he was not receiving her flirting very well, and he was being kind of a jerk. And it's her son's room. And, um, so she kind of left that date and then started talking to, um, Brock. And found out that he was also a music lover, um, which is kind of cool. So they bonded over that. This is her daughter's room. I really like this new bed. Like... I really, really like it. It is probably my favorite piece of furniture in the game now. I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, so she and Brock kind of got together. He's quite a bit older than she is. Um, also, I'm using the new hair that came with Seasons for the toddler, but I don't like it. He looks like Tommy from, um, like, like 
Barbie doll Tommy. I don't know if anyone's going to remember that, but uh, that's what that reminds me of. So this is their house, and i got to zoom out now. I really am ready for the Easter Bunny to go away. I don't know if he will, but I would like for that to happen. Um, so she married uh, Brock. Um, I, she was, I don't know, uh, she was a young adult. She wasn't super young though. No, no food. We're, we're not eating food right now. See, she's making a ham dinner and then she goes and grabs garlic noodles. Um, yeah, so she really likes to clean and uh, like that's really all she ever wants to do and she makes sure that Brock does the same and he never makes a mess. Um, can I get you to, okay, we gotta get rid of the flower bunny. He's just freaking me out too much. Um, can we ask him to leave? Um, fight him for bunny eggs. Uh, go away. Let's tell him to go away. Um, yeah, so they got married in a museum in Willow Creek. And, um, unfortunately, I believe Juliet's dad, Julianne, had already passed away by that point. But Demi was still around, so she was at the wedding, and so was her sister, Leonie. And then, um, they... I, I think she got pregnant on their wedding night because Brock is quite a bit older. He is going to be an elder tomorrow, actually, and Juliet is going to be an adult in seven days, so he's like a whole life stage ahead of her, basically. And um, I don't know, I think it that kind of bothered me at first, but then I kind of decided that it suited Juliet to be with an older guy. So, yeah, I kind of didn't have a problem with that. But then they got started on their family right away because it was... Um, you know, crunch time, because he was getting, he was not getting any younger. So they started on their family right away. Also, uh, when Juliet first lived in this house, um, she uh, is a professional pianist right now, by the way, and she started out in the music career and has been at it ever since. And she has this cat right here. This is Mozart. Um, I don't remember what his traits are, but he's actually a pretty nice cat. Like, I don't mind him at all. So that's Mozart. Um, since her and Brock are both music lovers, uh, their kids and their cats have musical names as well. Um, I thought she was oops calling to the meal, but I guess not. Okay, let's just get her to grab some. He can grab some. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. I'm trying to get them all to come and eat this and have their meal together. Um, and I keep wanting to call this kid Tommy because he looks like Tommy to me with that haircut. Um, the flower bunny's not going away, so I'm just going to keep an eye on him, make sure he keeps his hands to himself. I don't trust him, he's a little shifty. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Mozart, and then they just adopted another kitten. This one right here, this little fluffy one. Where's she going? Sit with your parents. Uh, this kitten, and that is Ludwig, which is um, inspired from Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven, I think was his name. And so that's how that cat got the name. And she's so, he is so cute and fluffy. I really like him. Big fan of Ludwig. And uh, yeah, so Juliet um, has all, is it big into the holidays. Um, she had Thanksgiving here and she had Christmas here. And on Christmas Day, I will, no, uh, Thanksgiving, she, that was when she announced that she, to her mom that she was pregnant. I think I included a screenshot in the beginning of her mom, of her telling her mom, which I thought was super cute. Um, sadly, Demi died shortly after, um, after their daughter was born. Um, so they had a girl and her name is Aria Bassett. And Aria is inspired from, um, it's a type of song, I guess. Song usually by a solo, uh, part in, like, typically opera, I believe. So that's how she got the name Aria. And then their son, um, they were born pretty close together because Brock is quite a bit older than Juliet. I was kind of in a hurry for them to get their family um, rolling. And this one is Sebastian. Um, and that comes from uh, the, music, or the composer Johann Sebastian Bach. So that's where I got that. Um, and I kind of wish that they could have more kids, but I mean, he's getting pretty old. Juliet's really focused on her career, so they're not going to have more kids. It's just going to be Arya and Sebastian. But... Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm also pretty happy with I wish that I could do more kids just for the sake of getting to pick cool names like that. Like Ludwig and Mozart was really fun to do as well. And uh, so the heiress is Aria. Um, she got her mom's red hair too. I don't know how long we're going to keep this going for. I'm interested to find out though. And Aria is a goofball. That was her first trait. 
Um, so my rule is that I have to randomize the traits and I have to just pick, go with whatever is randomized, even for toddlers and even for spares. Like any life stage at all, it has to be randomized. And so she ended up with goofball, which I'm happy with. Um, her dad actually has this, the same trait. He's also a goofball and he works as a jokesmith. He's into comedy. And uh, so they're both kind of entertainers. Um, Sebastian's going to bed. Arya is going to bed. Good. Now I just don't know how to get rid of this guy. Like, oh, ask to leave. Now it says ask to leave. Before that wasn't available. So that was frustrating. Um, yeah, so obviously we're in springtime right now. Um, two days ago, because you can plan your own holidays and your own events and things like that. Um, I even put their wedding in here. I think it's really fun that you can plan weddings and stuff like that. And I think you could even do like baby showers if you wanted to. Like there's so m you can really get creative with what you can customize. And so I like to do things based on their traits. And since Juliet is squeamish and she's a neat freak, um, I incorporated a new holiday for her, which is like recurring every year. It's not showing up here yet because we just had it, but it's called Spring Cleaning Day. And basically, because when you go in here and you want to create a holiday, um, let's first of all, let's cancel this holiday because it's over. Um, when you want to create a holiday, uh, let's do it for this one. Um, you can pick like what you want them to do. So I did this one, cleaning, to participate clean around the home. So she was in her glory. She was in the best mood I've ever seen. And so then we also did, um, I think we did cleaning. Uh, gardening is another one you could do. We didn't actually do any gardening, but I did include that one in the holiday. Um, and also a uh, grand meal. So they get to have like a dinner afterwards. <laughs> And I thought that was funny, and it's going to come up every year for them, because that's that's Juliet's thing. Um, not every family will do it, just this family. Well, I can, I'll can i cancel it for other families after this family going forward, because it's supposed to be just a special holiday, um, just, for, just for Juliet's family. I'm going to get him to clean that up. Um, Brock knows that uh, she likes to keep a clean house, so he does his best to make sure that everything's nice and orderly. We'll put out the fire before we go to bed, so it doesn't... Oh, and she got a resolution because she got a promotion. I don't know how she got a promotion when she wasn't working today. That's weird. Oh, you gotta fix that. Um, if anything ever breaks or if anything's dirty or, you know, there's trash piles or whatever, she's on top of it. Um, nothing stays broken for long. And since she's squeamish, she doesn't like to do any of these gross jobs. So sometimes she's in a bad mood afterwards. Um, those tra traits kind of conflict with one another a little bit. Um, her house was really fun to design though because she is such a neat freak and she also, I think she would have like a more elegant taste as well. She dresses pretty like conservatively and um, she's quite proper I guess. So that promotion she just got, she's now a symph symphonic string player which is level 8 so she's doing pretty good. They've got $8,700 garbage truck coming. <laughs> They've got $8,700, which is pretty good. Um, I really don't know how much they're going to have saved for the kids, or not the kids, just Aria, when she moves out. Um, I'm not totally sure about that yet. Brock, unfortunately, he won't be around forever, obviously. He's going to be a, an elder soon, and so I do, like, it's become quite apparent that Juliet is probably going to have to um, do some of this on her own. Like, he's not going to be around, so she'll be parenting by herself for a little bit of time. And I just wanted to see when Sebastian's birthday is. He ages up in two days. Oh, and he's a charmer. And uh, Aria was independent. So we got some good traits with these kids. Um, also, uh, I'd like to include little like weird things just because it's funny. So since Juliet is a music lover, uh, she bought this violin for Aria the day she was born. And she makes her play it and <laughs> Uh, she'll sit there and listen to her and she'll like clap her hands and she's just so happy with the fact that Arya plays her violin. Um, she's definitely the kind of mom that's forcing that on her daughter. Even though Arya isn't really into it, she does it to appease her mom. And I think that it'll eventually help her if she decides to go into the entertainer career and be a comedian like her dad, because she's also a goofball. Um, she can do that and she'll have the violin skill to advance her as well. So it's actually going to help her in the long run if that's what she decides to do. Um, I'm not sure if she'll get a more predominant trait as a teenager that'll kind of change the course of her life, but that's what's exciting is for right now, I know that she's a goofball. No, go back to bed. It's only 4 a.m. I know that she's a goofball and 
right now I can see her going into comedy, but she might get some other kind of trait. She might even be evil, who knows? And um, then you get to kind of choose the path of their life based on that. And now today is Love Day. There's a lot of holidays um, for the springtime. I just want to make sure Love Day isn't a day where you have the day off. Okay, they don't. Good. Um, so, yeah, Arya... Oh, no, not Arya. Juliet and Brock will probably go on a date tonight. Those two are very much in love. Um, their relationships are maxed out entirely. They're crazy about each other. Um, so it's going to be even harder when Brock um, does move on because, I mean, it's his birthday today. So uh, I think as an elder, I'm going to have him... Um, not look super old, like I'll probably dye his hair, maybe he'll have a grey beard um, or something like that to kind of show that he's uh, still sophisticated but aging well. I don't want him to look really bad. Um, he's saying he had a bad holiday. I don't know why though, I got them to hunt for eggs, which is kind of cool. That's the first time I've experienced Easter. You can just click on different things like bushes, uh, you can look in the toilet, the couch, the fridge, and you just click hunt for egg. And everyone can do it, toddlers, children, teens, um, adults, everybody can do it except for babies, obviously. Uh, but I think that it's kind of a cool tradition. Easter wasn't nearly as exciting as I thought it would be. Um, I guess you could do other things, though. You could make crafts and, yeah, there's lots you could do. But, uh, yeah, that this is my family, and I'm just trying to see if there's anything else um, going on. Oh, she got another arrangement? Really? What can, oh, oh, I can put that on the piano. And now I want to add a vase. Let's do uh party here. Pink. Pink? Oh, that's pretty. I like it. That's good. I don't know where she got that from. It says it's begonias. I'm not I'm not sure about that though. Um also just like in the uh in my not so berry challenge, I each generation j uh, generation wow is gonna have a like an heirloom. And so this tulip she got from her mom, who got from Julianne. And then this violin will be what um, Juliet passes on to the next generation. So yeah, that is my second generation and her aspiration is musical genius, um, which I didn't even mention. That's what this entire challenge is about, um, her completing this, this aspiration. Um, she's only on the second part, oh, the first part. She hasn't really done much with it. I know that it's a pretty easy one though, so I'm not in a huge hurry. Uh, but yeah, she's gonna be musical genius. Her mom um, found her soulmate, which is her aspiration, and uh, we don't quite know what's going to happen with Arya yet, um, but I mean, that's why I like this challenge. It's fun to kind of find out. So that is Generation 2. Thanks for watching.